This is the sixth version of the Thinker Screw and Apple Silicon workaround. This version allows you to run the workaround without having to type commands in the terminal window. This moves the stuff that was previously done in the terminal window to an icon that you download and the terminal window work is done in the icon. The directions to make the icon are in the version 5 video. I just packaged up the icon in a DMG file so that it, others can use it. The general steps are basically the same. Uh, first of all, save off your workspaces, and there are two ways to do this. The first approach is to save them in the cloud by going into Setup, clicking on Share Workspace, and then saving the URL that it gives you. On the other side, you can then go into setup and use share workspace to retrieve the workspace. So we go into thinkorswim, go into setup, and then share workspace. And it gives you this little window. <coughs> then you can um, hit share and then it will give you a URL and just save the URL and you can then import it on another instance or I mean, you can even share it with other people. That's typically how you move workspaces from one machine to another or share it with other people. To save your workspaces using um, a local method open up the finder, then go into Applications, Thinkorswim, and you'll see a bunch of workspace files at the bottom. Select them, then <coughs> copy them, <coughs> go to your home directory, and um, Create a new folder, and we'll just call it uh, then go into it and just paste them in, and you have a backup of all your workspaces. So, uh, actually, I'll leave those. I think I'll delete this one though. This is an old one where I saved it, it's another old one that I saved. To save off the Thinkorswim application directory before installing the, the new Intel Thinkorswim, we open the finder, then go to Applications, and just right click on, uh, well, sorry, you click once and then click a second time slowly, and then you could just type, say, that's underscore save and hit enter and that'll save it off so the next time you go to do the install it'll create it in thinkorswim and so you can do this in case you want to be safe and secure and keep make sure that you have your uh, old application directory around um, I can't do this because I'm running the thinkorswim workaround and I <laughs> it probably wouldn't work The first step is to download and install Azul Java 11 LTS Mac OS ARM 64-bit V8. So we go to the Azul Java web page. Uh, there's a link in the comments below. And we get this page. Uh, this page is a little bit different from the previous video in that it has this menu in front for Zulu Core and Prime. Um, we're going to, well, just a note, the Prime basically is, has optimized Java, and I looked into it, and um, it's only available for Linux, so it doesn't affect us for Mac OS, but hopefully they'll put the optimizations back into the Mac OS version eventually. So we click on Download Now, and it takes us to the page to download Java. Um, there have been a decent number of people that just downloaded the latest version, Java 18, and that doesn't work. Um, Thinkorswim requires 
Java 11. So let's scroll down to Java 11. And uh, Java 11 LTS. We will look for Mac OS. And this is the Mac OS Intel kit. And this is the Mac OS ARM kit, which is the one we want. So we'll click on the DMG and it's going to download. We'll click on that and double click the package. And it installs. So we're good to go. The second step is to <clears throat> install the Thinkorswim Mac OS kit. So we go over to the uh, download Thinkorswim desktop now and there's a link to that in the description section. And we'll scroll down to Mac users and install Thinkorswim. I actually think this is progress is because because you can use their in, Mac OS installer uh, instead of having to um, use the other platforms installer. So we'll click on that, double click, open. And we'll run it. So as you can see, it's doing a considerable amount of work and the windows popping up and down and installing updates. Just take a look at it in Activity Monitor. And you can see that uh, it's using up a fair amount of CPU, but you can see also that it's uh, running Intel Java. And so we get to the login screen. Um,
and so we're up and running again that is Intel so we'll exit thinkorswim for now so there's a link in the description and it goes to the same area as this so we click on the link or and it downloads the file so we click on that and it opens it up here so we'll double click on this and just drag that to the desktop and kill this and then open with terminal right so we right click open with terminal and it says can't be open because the identity of the developer cannot be confirmed hit open and it starts up thinkorswim and we'll just verify that it's running oops where is it it's running apple We'll just switch back over here. So that's all there is to it. Uh, the next time you run it, I think you can just, let's see, double click it. Yep, and it comes up. So all this does is uh, it takes the icon that I set up in other videos and um, create a blank DMG file and then just copy or just drag the uh, the icon into the DMG and then just put the DMG up on the web so you can just open up the DMG and copy the copy the icon to your desktop and it will automatically run Azul Java and the Intel Thinkorswim uh, installation and you won't have to do any terminal window stuff so for those who want to give it a try, give it a try and let me know if it works or not. Um, if it does work, then I'll put out a full video describing how to do it from scratch. Thank you very much. The sixth step is to restore workspaces from the cloud or from the saved workspaces directory. To restore your workspace in the cloud, go into setup and then open shared item. And it'll ask you for the URL. Uh, which you saved before and then you can open it uh, and click import. Uh, after you do that you can uh, save it to whatever name you want. I'm not sure if it saves it or not um, but it will do the import and you do have the opportunity to save it. To restore it from our saved area we would open Finder then go into the directory with our workspaces and select them all, right click, copy, then go to applications, thinkorswim, and paste five items and that would overwrite the current workspaces. I'm running thinkorswim as it's part of the training day right now so I can't do that. Seven, conclusion. <clears throat> That's it. I hope that it makes it easier to do than the other videos. And as always, let me know if you have problems so I can try and help you resolve them. Note that some of the step numbers in um, this step and this step uh, may be out of sync with this because I reused uh, portions of videos, uh, portions of videos that were done earlier. Uh, as always, the links that will be in the description section.